desperation than intimidation. We say to you, sir, that Zimbabweans are desperately yearning for leadership and not rulership. And because of that, never again shall we cower from holding any politician to account. It is our right and we demand that that right is respected. So as we fight for a chance to build the future of our children, be reminded that we are compelled by love for Zimbabwe and not hate for one another. Yes. Your power, Mr. President, can do many things, but there are two things that you are powerless to do. You cannot stop your sun from setting and you cannot stop ours from rising. Yes. And he said, who is this? He says, who are they? And why have you let them? Everybody looked at David and they thought how? In Shona they would look at this boy and, they would, and his brothers, by the way, were at war. They were trained soldiers. I'm sure if they were Shona, and forgive me, because I was I was slipping to Shona for a little bit, because it makes sense. I'm sure his brothers, the, his brother's friends looked at, at the older brothers and they thought, but <laughs> arrest me, you will arrest me at home. If you are going to kill me, you will kill me at home. If you are going to abuse me, you will abuse me at home. Nobody cares. Let me tell you something, my fellow Zimbabweans, citizens of other nations, nobody, nobody cares more for your nation than the citizens of that nation. Yes. For years in Zimbabwe, we have been quiet. And it's not our fault, we've been afraid. We've been afraid. <laughs> and it's true. But now we demand space. We demand space for us to build our nation the way that we want to build it. Yes. How is it that we watch young people of other nations get involved to build their nations? And we have to announce to them that the things that take place in Zimbabwe and other nations around South Africa are usually a precursor or a curtain raiser to what is about to happen here. Yes. And so my encouragement would then be to say to South Africans, lobby your government. Lobby your government through the different groupings that you have to say, pay, can you pay attention to what is happening in Zimbabwe? Can you pay attention to the plight of the Zimbabweans? Because what happens to them affects us. What happens to them spills over here. My last point in, on this is that I, growing up as an African, you know that your father and your father's brother are both fathers to you. Yeah. Yes, is that, is that not correct? Okay. So when I see my father's brother, I still call him my father. I may call him Bamkuru or Bamnini, but he's still Baba. And so when I have a problem with my biological father, with my father, I can go to Bamkuru, my dad's older brother, or Bambiki, my dad's younger brother, and, say, and tell him and say, Uncle, this is me and, and your brother, my dad, we're not getting along. Would you help me? Would you talk to dad for me and see if you can help, if you can, if you can act as an intermediary? This is the call and the cry that I have for the ANC and for the leaders and particularly those that witnessed the struggle of Zimbabwe and then went on to uh, engage in the liberation of South Africa. These people are brothers. My hope is that they would be able to engage each other and say, look here, brother, your children are crying. I can hear them from next door. In fact, some of them have since left your home 
and now live in my house. <laughs> Every day, they tell me about how they are not getting along with you. Brother, would you listen to them? And so this is the hope. And today, our friends in the informal sector, people that have created their own jobs, taxi drivers, market traders, small business owners, are harassed daily by the continued failure of government policy and even by our own police for simply trying to make an honest living. When will this have the ability to admit failure? Yeah. <coughs> the question that was asked here is, so who must, we, uh, who must we look to for leadership? Who must we now throw our weight behind? You. Who must we look to? <laughs> that is vitally important for us to understand is that the process of this flag is breaking Zimbabweans out of the thinking mentality of a savior that comes to save us. Yeah. And the sooner we stop, we stop looking for somebody to impose themselves on us or for, uh, for somebody to come through and say, I am the real deal. I think we have a chance, and I don't know how much time we have, but you have to understand how difficult this may be. But we have a chance. When someone asked me and said, why don't you throw your weight behind a particular political party? I said, I can't do that. They must prove themselves to the people of Zimbabwe. Opposition party that desires to lead the people of Zimbabwe now has an opportunity. This is a perfect time to inspire, to capture the imagination of Zimbabweans and say this is what we can do together. This is what we can build together. Let's go. Are you there? Our friends in the informal sector, people that have created their own jobs, taxi drivers, market traders, small business owners, are harassed daily by the continued failure of government policy and even by our own police for simply trying to make an honest living. When will this have the ability to admit failure? <coughs> How can I sleep well at night? Mm -hmm. When when I drive home, mm -hmm. I drive along a road which is named Robert Mugabe Road. <laughs> and did you know this is a road? Please hear me. This is not theatrics. I drive along Robert Mugabe Avenue at 7 or 8 p.m. And along that very road, on the pavements of that very road, not many other roads, that particular road, <coughs> On the pavements at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., at 11, at 1 in the morning, on the pavements of those roads, I see old women lying on the street, hardly little babies that are not theirs. These are grandchildren with a blanket, and they're covering their vegetables. Not that they don't have a home to go to. They didn't make enough profit to go home that day. So they have to sleep in Robert Mugabe Avenue. Mm. You tell me that it's okay. No, no, no. 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 no.